What is going on guys? This is Dylan. Wow, I'm actually doing a vlog on this channel for once. And I'm shocked out of my mind. And I got a new GoPro. Well, technically I've had it for a bit, but I think you get the gist how it goes. The light just went off and forgot to open my car. Well, that's fantastic. Here, let me do that. Much better. Anyways, you can tell how professional today is right now. Currently right now, it's 7.04. And I got off on my shift about an hour ago, literally ate some lunch, had to go to a gas station, fill up some gas and get a drink. And uh, yeah, I gotta drive all the way to Apopka and things are looking kind of shitty already. You can tell the start of this video is gonna be really interesting because I found out while I'm at work around uh, the exit where SeaWorld is on that interstate, there was a massive accident and it blocked the whole interstate on both sides. So. Hopefully, from what I heard of, it's not catastrophic, so fingers crossed, but yeah, I gotta drive over to Apopka, where we're gonna be meeting Michael, McKinley Man 93, and I'm gonna be spending the night over there, and then Sunday, we're gonna go directly to the 500 immediately. Maybe stop by at the fleet market uh, before the race, we'll see, and meet with a whole bunch of our friends uh, along the way from the community as well, so we'll see how that goes, but you can tell, it's gonna start off really shit, you can tell, and for once, I'm... Um, I'm doing my normal self and not We The Coasters. I can't believe I'm not seeing as I start up the blog as We The Coasters. But if you do want to check that out, I'll put a link in the card over in the top right of the corner so you can check out that channel. That's where I do a lot of content with coasters and I use this bad boy as well. Going on the rides, going to the parks and everything in general. So that's just to know who I am and all. But anyways, this is just to start off on Saturday the 19th. And yeah, it's going to be a long fucking drive. All right, guys, I will see you guys later. So, time warp. We are now here on Sunday. We are here at the Daytona Flea Market, and we're getting ready to check out some stuff that's over here. And this honestly, guy, I know this guy. Honestly, I've not been here in a while. And Michael, you're here. I know, right? Hey. This guy here, he he's, uh, knows Colby Howard. That's awesome. So good. Let's check some shit out because I know you're going to want some shit. Yeah, <laughs> right? So, in case for those who are brand new who have never been here before, so this is a place where they sell a lot of die casts that's out here. A lot of 124s. I do think they have 164s. Yep, they do right so, over I mean, here. And I mean, they got a lot of them here. Oh, Holy cow. Man, I better watch my wall. But look at this here. They got a whole lot of die casts over here. They have some of the featured ones over here. Let me try to get out of the sun so you guys can see it. That's throwbacks. Got some trucks even. Now, mainly they have the ones from 2021 and before because they don't have any up from 2022, but still. It's a nice Neil Bonnet car. They're very optimistic. Just wanted to show real quick, though. A lot of stuff over here, though, man. A lot of stuff. So we're in our, like, fourth booth, and then this is one of, like, the few things I've seen that really has caught my eye, but this one at the most has definitely caught my eye right here. This is Jeff Gordon's 2001 Looney Tunes car that he ran at Richmond and unfortunately got wrecked out. Thanks there. And, um, yeah, this is actually a really good one here. I've always liked this one a lot. I prefer the 2002 better, but still, I'm very tempted to get this, though. Oh, man, this sucks. So I made the purchase of getting that die cast, and I just want to show real quick. So we start over here in this area, and this is how big it is. This is just this big, giant stretch full of tents, anything you could think of. And here it is. Shitty coolers. And then you literally can come over here and just see how it's like that, but it's actually really, really cool. And they have a lot of uh, certain themes to the cars that they have here. A lot of throwback cars that they have here. I've seen Daryl Waltrip 66, uh, big Kmart car. But people would have bought that up. Look at this one here. Holy Jesus. I'm gonna try to grab my thing I purchased properly here. Just a tiny bit. 1997 Firebird Jeff Burton car there. Oh, wow, that's unbelievable. Is he gonna be there? Jason Keller's Albertson's car. Uh, yes. He is. Yep. I really like him, so I A lot of small die casts over here. And over here as well. Just a lot of stuff here, man. Wow. Alright, so we are now leaving the Daytona Flea Market. We got a couple of die casts. I got two. Michael's got one. Two. I got two. Oh, you got two actually. Oh, my bad. I didn't see the second one there. 
Also, just want to showcase real quick. They also are selling uh, sheet metal from the cars over here. A lot of the current ones I'm seeing, so it's actually really neat. Or at least from last year, I should say. I know. <laughs> I'm used to saying like current, but that's not the case. But yeah, so that's going to do it from Daytona Flea Market. We're going to head out of there. We're going to head over to the track. So we will see you then at the track. All right, we parked our car. You can tell it's obviously very busy out here. And now we are walking, heading over to the Speedway. For, for those wondering uh, back over what the temperature is like, it's getting close to 70. Still kind of a little chilly, but kind of windy. A little bit, not a whole lot. So it's decent, it's decent enough to keep it cool down. Yeah, it definitely is. But I mean, like, no humidity. No, that's I think a blessing there because I really did not want to have to deal with the crazy humidity like normal Florida would be like. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, let's see if we can get uh, closer to the grandstands and all the uh, off track activities that's going on. And here we are. We made it. Took a little bit of a walk, but we have made it to the speedway. And we'll probably be going in probably shortly there. But uh, we're going to see if we can find some people that uh, we know of. Unfortunately, not a lot of luck so far because the, the cell reception is kind of shit right now. Hey, nice time. I like so, it. Thank you. But yeah, that's just, that's how it is, I guess. Uh, welcome Daytona. But uh, yeah, let's just get inside. All right, time to go up these giant escalators here. No wheels, unfortunately. Someone didn't get the reference. Son of a bitch. How happy are you feeling there, buddy? Pretty good. First Daytona 500. I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Oh, no, it'll be worth it. Yeah, remember, it's all about the experience. That's what matters the most. So, probably get some lunch in a bit. And kind of go from there. So, we're waiting until uh, race time. We already got some lunch. We killed a little bit of time. And uh, right now, it's about 12, a little after 12 20. But, uh, man, had some lunch, it was good. Got to meet up with uh, Goss, Tristan, Schwalberg, and Baker. That was really, really cool. Trying to see if we can find a couple others that we know of along the way. But yeah, I mean, just kill whatever time we can before the race begins. So uh, look forward to see how that's gonna go all together. Just ask his picker with that kind of speed. He's going. Got to put him back, back in. Put it got back forward. Go forward, Mike. There you go. Hey. was Dylan's sad attempt at being a fit crew member. I'm so glad I'm not a professional. Holy shit. That was fucking bad. Holy shit. 32 seconds. Jesus Christ. Oh, see? No shit. Trash. Alright, we're about ready to head back to our seat. We're going to get ready for some good old-fashioned racing and they'll be ready for drive race shows pretty soon. Let's get it. Up the 500. Austin Cedric won. What do, you think? Is butter. what do you think of the race though? Great. It was awesome. First day, awesome. Yeah. How about that? 
All right, we cleared out of there and no oh, shit. Well, this is gonna be fun. We're waiting a while. All right, currently Sunday, which, uh, or not Monday. Sunday, Monday. Monday. What the fuck am I saying anymore? I'm glad I'm not professional on this channel anymore. But it is Monday here and uh, yeah. So as you notice with the Daytona vlog, it kind of uh, was a little bit short. Well, one of the clips I did, I accidentally left the camera on in my pocket for about 50 minutes. And if you put that in translation, yes, I killed the battery, unfortunately. So that makes me feel fan-fucking-tastic. But in the meantime, though, we are here in Orlando over on iDrive with Michael again. Yep. And we're going to be checking out a place that, well, both of us have not been to in, in a decade, quite, at least. Uh, at least. Over a decade. Now, this is uh, interesting. If you've known about Orlando for a while, there's obviously a lot of things to do outside of the parks. You got a lot of small buildings that are over here that have a lot of attractions. You got uh, Icon Park, which obviously has been growing a lot. And then you got like the littler places that really don't get a lot of attention. But for those of the people who go there, a lot of the times get a lot of good things to say. And one of those places is Wonderworks. Now, Wonderworks, for those who are brand new and don't know what this is. It's like a three-story building. Well, it's a three-story building, but this is the best way to describe it the moment you walk into the place. Yes, an upside-down <laughs> building. They, have them, they had them in a, a Pigeon Forge up in Tennessee, too. But I just want to show you what this looks like real quick. This is basically like one of those like optical illusions when before you walk on in but also in general it's a lot of really cool things inside so now let's get inside and have some fun so they also have theo the robot here and you can actually push one of these buttons here to uh showcase what it says over here but uh we're just gonna ignore that right now because we're just gonna want to get our tickets and go inside but yeah this is gonna be really interesting to see how to start in case you're wondering how it starts we go right through here so, yeah, can't wait. See, it's illusion already. Yeah. All right, here we go, boys. Without touching the side. Oh my God, it's hard. I'm not spitting. <laughs> oh, you T-pose after. Okay. I learned my lesson the last time. So what we just went through is where we start up right over here. That was the optimal illusion kind of over here. Now, as this happened, there's a lot of experiences around here. So over here, we have what it knows about the feel of the lightning rod right here. So I'm gonna put my hand here in the glove. I'm gonna know how this here goes. Oh, so I'm gonna get this stuff right here. Because I know this is uh, kind of weird. Because uh, last time I came here was like in the early 2010s. Is it not working? Do not reach. Can it not reach this Maybe not. It's not working. No! But well, once we figure out how things Dude, work here. Why does it not work? We obviously can tell. Now we have a hurricane shack that's over here. Now last time I came here, this was under as tornado. So we're going to have to press the green button and step inside. So let's hit start. Let's go inside. Where's the light? <laughs> Where's the light? in my head of the thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember that, but that was honestly freaking hilarious. Oh my god. Um, also, they show a lot of facts about hurricanes, which is actually really, really cool. Uh, and uh, we're anti grab I'm sorry, I'm kind of laughing at that. That was actually hilarious. Oh, and uh, by the way, that illusion tunnel here. So, this is where we walked into before, and they actually have a camera for the people to go inside, which actually is really, really neat. Then we have a thing here called oh, Coldest one. Ice. This used to be a... Oh, so I think... Oh, yeah, you have to put it in there. You have to yeah, it and it tells you how long you, you put it in there for. Okay, so yeah. This used to be what they... This used to be called, like, this is how cold the ice was for the Titanic. Here we go. Watch this here. Here we go. Look, because look, right up there. Wait, do we have to... Is there a button? Press? I think there, I already did it once, and then it just kind of just stopped. Oh. Oh, okay, here we go. Hold We're going to wait till this uh, pops in there. And then, uh, you want to go first, Michael, or are you... Oh, yeah. Good. Let's see. Come well, on, that's Michael. not cold. 
Well, how long can you keep it in the water? That's what it's trying to tell you. Dude, this is like cool water. <laughs> it's like cool water. <laughs> How long, how long do you have on that thing? Because I'll be here all day. Oh my god. <laughs> 12 years later. It's, it's, well, she's, it's like about a minute and he's like... <laughs> now as we do it, obviously they show a lot of things about cold ice, how long can keep in the water. It mentions what a brain freeze is. And it also has uh, the anti-gravity chamber over here to my left. But you can tell someone's going in there for the hurricane thing. I mean, I could take it out. Honestly, it's it's not cold. It's it's really not. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's not it wasn't cold. really that cold. He did it for 39 seconds, and then honestly, I agree, it wasn't really that cold either. But I mean, and then one other thing we want to show you. Remember, this is level one, so so watch this here. We're gonna freeze the water here. Nothing happened. Yay! How about change directional flow? It's an optical illusion, man. Nothing happened. Alright, let's well, go upstairs. Crap. Well, actually, let's see about one more thing. We're gonna do that earthquake thing real quick. Alright. Earthquake, unfortunately, had a little bit of uh, people sitting there for no reason. Well, so, they were doing it. Yeah. Well, quote unquote doing it, but not really. Well, they were. You gotta wait. You press the button. Like, Maybe, it. yeah. So now we're gonna go up to level two. And now look at this. Walk to a picture of me and disappear. One picture. Do the eyes fall and lose you? Oh. So now they have a little bit of uh, arcade stuff over here and uh, great impressions. So this is where they have a lot of uh, illusions along the way here. Now to be honest, this part I don't remember how much uh, had got changed, but this is one of the main attractions if you notice this gentleman over here. The bed of nails. I feel like I'm going to try it, but I'd be so nervous to do it. So, oh boy. Look at this dude, look at, look at the bed of nails. Michael, look at this, the bed of nails here. Feeling a bed of nails. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Dylan is now laying on a bed of nails. I'm gonna hit the button here and it's gonna bring up the nails. Why not agree doing this? And there they come. Oh my god. Look, he is actually on the nails. Let me know when you want me to let go. Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh my god. Who made this idea, man? I swear to god. I'm not gonna lie, I, there you that, was, go. that was as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It was good. Now, of course, as you're seeing through here, there's a lot of arcade stuff over here. It's like a doodle jump, snowbird, snowboard, dunk a duct tape, fruit ninja. We have this optical illusion thing over here. Don't get confused by it. They have a, a bunch of simulators over here. A little picture thing over here with this with the astronaut, another thing over here. And then they got these, these things here. I know, they got a wonder coaster. Look, Michael, they have one coaster you can actually do. Oh my god, they got astronaut training challenge. Oh my god. I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna regret doing this. Michael, I think, may try this though. I don't know, we'll see. So we have a for uh, trying to land a spacecraft over here. I'm gonna call it spacecraft because I feel like it's good because I am not a space nerd. I'm sorry. Also, what about this machine is so fucking loud behind me. Yeah, he's getting closer to the landing stripe, trying to see if he can actually land perfectly calm there. Oh, see, look at this dude's got no fear. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, a little to the right. You did. Oh, bo -bo -bo -bo. 
All right, so Michael's gonna try a second time at this there. He almost had it the first time. He thinks he didn't make it, but this one here said he did. Now he's gonna try again here. How confident you feel right now, Michael? You got this in the bag, right? Oh, he's getting closer. Oh, you're getting a little early. A little, a little early. Okay, I'm going to take it. Right, you're down the block. 50, 25, 40, 25, 30, 40, 20, 30, 20, 10, 10. Look at this dude, he did yeah. it. Second try. Not bad. Shoot down, he rotates. Job. Okay, how far, how much more does it need to go here? That was a fine land. Some of your touchdown conditions were a little excessive, but nothing that a few days in the shuttle processing has some of your camp. Pretty good, man. Well, how do you get 2454? Thanks for joining me. Please get up and get So I didn't want to bring the camera on the ride as I'm doing it, but let me just say, holy crap, I'm like... I'm a little dizzy, but I'm good though. That was fun. I told you, you should you should record that part, but like, uh, that's all right. Oh Lord. So we were gonna do the Wonder Coaster, but just at first the line's kind of uh. I mean, you know what? That line's been okay. I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, so I have to do one of those now. We go this way. Let's see, one face or two? It's two. We already know what it is. And they have a lot of things about science over here, but now. I know, right? It's scary to see all these stairs here. Do a lot of optical illusions over here and a lot of art. Now we're going to go upstairs into the third and final level that's over here. So as you notice, we've done the first two levels that are around here. This is honestly really cool how they have separate pictures to make what looks like a dog. Look, the Italian meat. Horrible joke. Why are there so many stairs? This is like Harry Potter with like the pains and all, except it's not talking to you. Like, this is like the, the Wizarding World Harry Potter when you're doing that one Harry Potter ride. So now they have two ways to go. They have a 4D theater and a laser tag to the right, which is what we're going to do. And then they have a ropes course and arcade to the left. So we're going to go here. All goes to the same place. really matter. This is what they consider the quote unquote basement. But they have an XD theater 4D motion ride experience. Then they have a rope scores on top right over here. Ooh. So obviously, now I've not been here when they've done the 40 rope scores. And then the laser tag, which would be over here. Let's play piano please and see which one of us can get to get the higher score. Jesus, I'm probably gonna lose this either way. But I think we need a card first, so we'll figure something out first. So, your boy here managed to uh, be number one there. Because we all know why. I'm a better shooter. Thanks to those years in Fortnite Please. and Halo. <laughs> so, of course, as mentioned here from 04, they have a little bit of place to eat. They got pizzas, they got sodas. They got game cards here, the arcades. They got a laser maze challenge. Oh, dude, I love that. And then they have a ropes course right over here. So, I guess, yeah, I'm starting with this. All right, first time I've ever done this, so I really don't know what to expect. I'm just gonna carefully watch my step here. All right. This way, sir. There we go. So we just gotta walk through there or? Yeah, one at a time. Wait, this part right here? Both feet. One, one on one, one on the other. Hold on, Mike, I'll tell you where to go. Doing 
good, buddy. Made it. Over here, and I just got big feet. I can't help it. Oh, I know. Oh, crap, honey. Michael, I'm gonna suck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't figure that out. <laughs> what? I'm stuck. I'm going back. Why? I'm not trusting that reach, man. I'm actually frightened. You have to go that way. You have to go that way. Oh, crap. <laughs> Seriously? That's a perfect. Jesus Christ. All right, let me put this down real quick. All right, so now. No, sir. No, sir. Trust me, I am freaking bright. You take your sweet ass time. <laughs> For the record, these type of things I am a little afraid of. It's just because it's not a lot of support. And I wonder why it's this is hard. Holy crap. <laughs> It's just, I'm oh, swinging on these. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hold on. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. This is easy. See, no, this is easy. I'm doing easy, because this is all I'm going to do. Look. Now, I know I could say that I have no fear of coasters. That's fine. Now, this here is a whole different story because, well, when you're walking on platforms like this, this always kind of gets me here. And I don't have a lot of support, so. Oh, I know, you're good. You're doing good, buddy. Yes, at a boy. This thing? Yeah, I know. Hey, and go back that way. Go back that way. Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that part there. <laughs> yeah, they go that way. I'll meet you there. I'm going back this way. You went the wrong way, dude. Oh, I did? Wait, are we really? Yeah. Are you sure?
Yeah, do those. You can find them okay. What? Do those. You can find them okay. What, this over here? Yeah, cool. These things are much harder than how they look, especially if you're either in the bigger frame by size or bigger in height. So it's just, it's much more difficult than expected. All right, Michael, yeah. Yeah, see, I, I'd go downstairs. Dancing sick. What? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, hanging out, man. Hey, I'm sick of the coasters. <laughs> Are you recording? Yes. Huh? Yes. Stairs honestly isn't bad, it's just um so it's much more frightening when you're uh, older doing this and all that there. So when you're a kid you probably don't have much fear in this. But you know, me, yeah, I've never done these before and I can see why I'm kinda scared now. <laughs> Let me know when you're clear, Michael. Clear? I'll be joining in a minute. <laughs> showcase what the gift shop looks like over here as you can tell they have a couple little things to get over here and then they have a lot of merchandise to get which because it's orlando 
So they have a lot of things that's over here. They have an LED lantern, multicolor lights of the Wonderworks uh, main building that's over here. Dylan's truck company, that's funny. Over the road trucks, they got t-shirts over here, which should not be a surprise. They have little T-Rex miles with motorcycles, uh, space shuttle, little figures, lava lamps, cups with your names and it's on there, plates, signs, more shirts over here. Yeah, a lot of stuff over here. That was neat though. All right, guys, that'll do it here at Wonderworks. That'll do it also for that crazy vlog that we had because I got to get home. I know Michael's got to get home, but... Yeah, you're taking me. Yeah, I know, right? Well, I got to drop... We're going to get eat first and then take going home. Oh, but you already know how that's going to happen. But yeah, that'll do it here at this crazy contraption that I don't even remember the last time I came here. But yeah, that thing. But what an unbelievable vlog it's been. Of course, big thank you to Michael and the tickets for the 500. And also the people who we've gotten met well, along the way. for the tickets. Who bought yours? No, oh, but you were the one that also kicked it forward yeah exactly well to be fair we would have bought your tickets if they weren't so expensive exactly but what can you do that's the 500 for you so what a crazy weekend this was thank you guys for watching hope you guys liked the video and other than that subscribe if you're brand new to the channel hit the bell notification for any future uploads follow the we the coaster thing for more stuff like this along the way until then this is d young signing off enjoy the rest of your day guys have a good one we're out see you there